Who's ready to do some fishing in in our favorite place to fish? Where are we, Caitlin? Key Largo? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna do a little bit of backcountry fishing. We're gonna look for the spotted sea trout today, which I haven't mastered yet, but we're going out with our friends, Alec and Emma, in this bag right here. I have a secret weapon to catch trout, which I'll show you guys. But first, we gotta get to their house, get the boat ready, get to the spot. We're gonna catch some trout. <laughs> When you're in Key Largo, you only need to run several miles north or northwest and you'll be in some prime backcountry fishing. Today we're looking to do some trout fishing, but like any day of fishing, you never really know what you're going to find. When trout fishing, usually pelicans, diving on bait is a great indicator that trout will be near that area. And we find some pelicans diving on bait and decide to give this area a try. Another great indicator on a trout bite is muddy water. Sometimes when water is too clear, like this you don't see as good of a trout bite but when the water is stirred up and muddier like this the bite seems to be a lot better muddy water is usually stirred up by mullet or other bait fish hold up before we wet any lines i just want to quickly go over the rig that i'm using you know exactly how you can catch yourself some of these trout there's something i want to mention so y'all don't get in trouble when you're fishing out there and this whole area is considered the everglades national park you now are required to carry an everglades Everglades National Park boater permit in order to be boating and fishing inside the Everglades National Park. So if you plan on fishing for trout or boating or doing anything inside of the Everglades National Park, just make sure you get yourself the Everglades National Park boat permit. It doesn't cost anything. You just have to take a little quick course online. I will link the course in the video description below. So make sure you have that little tip. This is my Toadfish Outfitters Rod Pen Conflict 2 4000 and I got it loaded down with 12 pound moss green braid. That goes to a snap swivel and on that snap swivel I have this float which is this float right here. It keeps your bait off the bottom and the flicking motion that sound right there will bring trout in from miles away. So you want to have some kind of float. If you want to support the channel, go to rwboutdoors.com. We sell these floats. They're assembled right here in Florida. And then you want to get yourself some leader. This is about two feet a leader. If you're fishing really shallow water, you can probably get away with like 12 inches or even like 14 inches a leader. If you're fishing really deep water, you could probably even get away with like three feet a leader. But two feet a leader is a great place to start 12 pound test if you're fishing like real real big monster gator trout you could probably use like 15 pound test or something and then at the end you can use a weighted jig hook it doesn't have to be weighted if you're using live shrimp you can just use a nice j hook or a circle hook put a shrimp on there in this video we're using a weighted hook and then here is my magic bag the newest product on RWB Outdoors is our bottom candy jigs. They are squid flavored. They come in all different sizes, really big ones for deep dropping, but this is way too big for a trout. In this case, we're gonna be using the pina colada color, the white, I really like it. It seems like a natural bait color to me. Oh yeah, there we go. Trout want that little squiggly tail. You wanna just seat it on your hook, just like that. Bam, and there you go. And the way that you fish this is just flick it out, flick this whole rig system out. Yeah. Maybe I'll catch something in here. Just like jigging, you just wanna pop it and reel in. Pop it, reel, pop it, reel. And that's gonna create this popping sound. Before I break something, why don't I just walk down to the dock and show you. Cast it out and then retrieve it with some nice pops. Try speeding up or slowing down your retrieval to see what produces a bite that day. Oh, that was a hit. Oh, oh, yeah. Fish on, baby. Oh, he got off. 
Oh, it took... It bit it off. I wonder if I should use 20 pound test instead. Here's a tiny spoiler alert. In an upcoming video, I was offshore fishing when the mahi showed up and I still had this trout rig set up on my rod. So I try throwing at him and this is what happens. I got my light action rod. This is my inshore rod, but I'm going for it. They're right behind the boat. Oh, I got a mahi on the trout jig, on the bottom candy. I caught a freaking mahi on it. On that. Yes! I'm gonna use the trout rig again. <laughs> they love it! Yeah, let's say it worked. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see that video next week sometimes. And anyways, let's get back to the actual trout fishing video. Oh yeah! As I get my rig ready, Alec already hooks onto the first fish. Unfortunately, it's a catfish, but sometimes that's just part of trout fishing. All right, let's see what we can get going here. Yeah. Nothing like casting into the wind. Oh, did, wait, did, he came, dang it, he came off. Come back here, you little rat. I don't know how you guys cast again. It's all in the oh, wrist. Listen, yeah. He's got a little hip hop. Pretty boy. <laughs> oh yeah, devoured. It's a good looking trout. Yeehaw. Sweet. All right, it's a good start. Yeah, Kaylin, you hold that rod. Look at me go. I got a, a ladyfish. Yeah, that's a big one. Hey, we um we should actually keep him because he'll be good deep drop bait. Alright. <gasps> that's the one that just bit me off. Sneaky little guy. Those are your favorite fish, huh? I love them. Right after Ali caught a barracuda, I also caught a barracuda, and we also were getting bit off. Sometimes you come into an area that just seems to have a lot of barracuda, and usually you're not going to find many trout mixed in with the barracuda, so we decide to move spots in hopes for better grounds. I'm also doing a voiceover for this right now because I've been having some serious mic issues, and every few clips it doesn't seem to record any audio. But don't worry, I just ordered new mics. It got off. Oh, I was about to grab the camera. Oh, that was a nice one too. He looks like another 14 incher. Every time I cast, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I is he a nice one? He's swimming all crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, every trash fish out here. <laughs> the trash can. I, I, thought it was I like thing. that. That's pretty great. Did we get all of the trash can trio? Uh, That's a big jack. It's a good looking jack. Oh yeah. Goodbye. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ow, this one feels kind of good. Hey, this could be the keeper. It's either the keeper or it's the jack. He, he feels kind of strong. Let's go to the front. Oh, he's... Dang! What the heck do we got going on here? Here he comes. <laughs> yeah, it's a jack. It's a jack, but he's he's a fun fun size jack. Oh man, he swallowed my. Swallowed it. Multiplier 
Bears. Yeehaw! Another little one. A little guy. Close at least. Yeah, he's they're getting bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I would measure that. Another 14 and a half. 14. Lucky dog, he gets to schnizzle on his dizzle. Well, my audio completely stopped working for the rest of this fishing trip, but we hooked into some more jack, had a bunch of fun little fights. We caught some more small sea trout, but we never ended up catching a keeper sea trout. But don't worry, this is still a catch and cook. There is something to come. There was one moment right here where I casted it out and I was retrieving it and I hooked up into a jack right here in this moment. And then all of a sudden my drag just starts screaming out of the reel. I really wish my audio was working, but my drag is just flying out of my reel right now. I can't even stop it. You can see my hand kind of on the reel and how fast it's taking line. What I think happened was I hooked into a jack and then a bull shark or something swam up and must have grabbed it and just took off because I was not able to stop him at all. I mean, he's just peeling, peeling line off. Um, we're thinking for a second we might have to go chase him, but I pretty much knew that this wasn't going to be a battle that I was going to win. It eventually does end up breaking the line off after uh, running like this for another minute or so. Dang it, I wish I had that audio because I was squealing like a little kid in a candy shop. Feels good when you hook up on something this big. Alec hooked up on a nice fish off the back of the boat that was jumping around and what a nice sunset, look at that. Sun's almost down, so we head back to the dock and while we're back at the dock, something swims by and I grab a net and that's where this next part starts. Where'd that shrimp go? There's just, oh there he is. Yes. Swim into my net, little shrimpy shrimp. Oh ho ho ho! Yeehaw! Where'd that shrimp go? No! No, he's jumping! Come back! Oh! Oh! I might be able to get him here. Boom! Got him! Look at that sucker! Shrimp filet mignon! Yeah! No! I missed him! Oh, he's coming back! He's not the smartest shrimp in the world. He's coming back. Scoop! Got him. Little shot of these. Wow. What do you think about my shrimp? Look at you go. <laughs> Master shrimper over here. There is like a Alec was cleaning the boat and I was just shrimping shrimp away. Shrimp. Scooping shrimp off the dock. All right, I'm gonna show you a real simple Real good way of cooking these shrimp up. We got our new red, white, and blue outdoors fish and game seasoning, Bayside. We make all of our spices right here in Florida and just give it a nice dash to get that water nice and flavored. Once you get the water up to a nice boil, it's time to toss in your fresh shrimp. You can do these with thawed shrimp or fresh shrimp from your local grocery store or with shrimp so fresh that they kick a little bit when you toss them in. And remember, when you're cooking shrimp, this goes fast. You only wanna boil them for around three, four, five minutes, depending how big they are, but shrimp cook extremely fast. So toss them in there wait for them to change colors and they're ready to go strain the water out and let them cool down all right we ready hello hello you there <laughs> you know let, let's try look at these yo let's try these caught fresh off the backyard rip the head off yeah suck it they look like something you would get in a restaurant I sure hope so. Fresh as I can get, right? Super fresh. Super fresh. Ready for this? I'm let kind me, of excited. Let me see that shrimp. That's a peeled shrimp right there. Ready for this? Ready for this. Y'all 
Oh yeah. Oh, they said it had to be a camera. I don't even know what it looked like. Go for it. Go on. Put that in your mouth. I Alright. That was really good. Yeah, it's like a shrimp, right? Like a shrimp? That's that what that was? It's like a shrimp, like right? Shrimp? You see the smile on my face? It's because things are freaking coming together around here. I got. Check it out out here. Oh, I forgot. Slammed that with my leg. Those are the new floorboards for the John boat. Oh uh, yeah, motion sensor lights now. John boat's coming together. I got security cameras up in this place. So the John boat's almost done. My main offshore boat is almost done. The dive bracket on it is already done. It just needs to get put on, throw the engine back on, and it's freaking ready. I'm feeling good. You know when things just start coming together, everything starts falling in place. I know. My videos have been a little slow in like the last month, last couple months. Personal life stuff, house stuff, boat stuff. But I can see the light at the end of the tunnel and it's a bright light. Why am I looking directly into that light? Okay, now I see sparkles, damn it. And I just wanna thank everyone that has subscribed to this channel, that leaves likes, leaves comments. Y'all got me back on track and I'm ready to go, go back to my roots. Some first person tutorial style running offshore on my boat and looking for freaking meat. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, cheers.